Kenneth Turnbull here from KennethTurnbull.com and today I'm going to be talking about this big myth in direct response marketing and advertising and specifically for paid advertising. You hear this myth all the time and it's you should only test one thing at a time. So these people will say you should only test the headline or the image or maybe the opening paragraph, the testimonials or something small like the button color and I get why they say this. It's uh, the scientific way to do it. If you test one thing at a time, you're going to know how much of a difference that change made. So if you change the headline and it gets a 10% increase in response rate, you know the headline uh, change was responsible for that. But here's the thing, specifically if you're doing paid advertising and let's say you start off an ad campaign and it's run a 50% loss, which it's pretty normal when you're starting out with a new ad campaign and that 10% increase in a headline change isn't going to make your campaign profitable very fast, is it? So you're going to be 5, 10, 15 changes down the road before your campaign is even uh, profitable and you're losing all this money up until that point. So that's the big problem with it. The wins you're going to get from chase, uh, changing one thing at a time are going to be very small. Another problem with it is you don't have all the traffic in the world, probably. You don't have millions and millions of people coming to your page. Maybe you've, it depends how big your paid advertisements are, I suppose. But um, if you had all the traffic in the world, then you can test the smallest things and keep testing and keep testing and keep testing and find out what works, keep tweaking the little things. But if you don't have all the traffic in the world, you've got to do the big tests first. So. It comes down to the notion of test screams, not whispers. And if you're going to test a scream, then you should test two completely different landing pages against each other, in my opinion. Now, obviously, the big downside to this is you don't know what specific changes are going to, um, what specific changes made the difference in response rate if you're testing two completely different landing pages against each other. But if you're running paid ads, at least I've found that testing two pages that are completely different against each other, advertising the same thing, maybe approaching it from two different angles, that's the fastest way to get your ads profitable. Fastest way. So it comes down to this. What would you rather know? Would you rather know what exactly is responsible for the change in your response rate? Or would you rather your ad be profitable and not losing money? So it comes down to that saying again, test the screams, not whispers. Start with the big things first and then by all means test little things like button color and small things like that later on once your ad is profitable. But test big. Keep testing big. And that's the fastest way to make your ads profitable. So if you enjoyed that tip, head over to KennethTurnbull.com and get on the mailing list there and there's plenty more tips like that for copywriting, direct response advertising, marketing, all that good stuff over at uh, kennethturnbull.com. See you there.